नमस्ते हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया आई एम जे वी एन डॉक्टर अनामिका अहरवाल एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एट जयोति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द लेक्चर ऑन द टाइट ऑन द सब्जेक्ट डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग एंड डेटा माइनिंग नाउ द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडे सेशन इज डेटा इंटीग्रेशन एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन these are the topics which i have covered in uh, this video data integration in in data integration i will tell you about issues to consider during data integration and the second is data transformation come to the data integration integrate means what to combine okay so data integration combines data from various data uh, databases data groups and flat files some attributes uh, describing a given term can have different names in various databases resulting in discrepancies and redundancies for example the customer identifier attribute um, attribute may be uh, referred to as a customer id in uh, a customer id in in one data store and customer uh, cust id in another so the naming contradiction for attribute values can also occur okay so there are some uh, characteristics which can also derive from others Uh, like annual revenue if you, are, if you are having a large amount of redundant data that can slow down or confuse the process of information discovery right so additional data cleaning can be carried out to identify and eliminate redundancies that could have uh, arisen from data integration so these are the three issues which consider during data uh, integration first is entity identification problem second redundancy and the third one is to detect and resolution of data value conflicts now uh, in first the uh, entity recognition problem in this problem combining a scheme and matching an object can be tricky for example uh, uh, how can a data analyst or a computer be sure that the client uh, um, client id in one database and the cost number in another refers to the same attribute metadata can be used to help avoid scheme a schema integration errors and to have transformation on uh, the data now the second is redundancy redundancy means duplicacy okay so an attribute uh, can be redundant if it can be derived from another attribute or you can say it is the collection of attributes attributes or dimension naming difference uh, can also lead to redundancies in the resulting data collection uh, redundancy can be detected by correlation analysis okay so the third one is uh, detection and resolution of data value conflicts um in this point uh for the same real world entity attribute values from um, different sources may differ this way uh, uh, uh this may be uh, due to differences in representation scaling or encoding an attribute in one system may be recorded at a lower level 
of abstraction than the same attribute in another while matching attribute from one database to another during um, during integration a special attention should be should be paid to the uh, structure of the data right so be careful about the integration of data from multiple sources because there are multiple sources from which the data comes and that data we have to store to uh, do our further task so uh, it helps to reduce and avoid redundancies and inconsistencies in the resulting data set this can help improve the accuracy and speed of the subsequent mining process now come to the data transformation in data transformation the data are transformed or consolidated into forms appropriate for mining data uh, transformation operations such as normalization and aggregation which you have already learned in uh, dbms and additional data process pre processing procedures that would contribute towards the success of the mining process and these are some data transformation that can involve the following first is smoothing normalization uh, aggregation generalization of the data attributes uh, uh, construction or you can say feature construction now uh, smoothing is what smoothing works to remove noise from data these strategies include binning regression and clustering which i already told you or described you in my previous videos normalization this is scales the data to be evaluated um to a particular range such as 110 or 0 to minus 1.0 or you can say 0 to 1.0 or bet, uh, for better performance right so this is normalization aggregation is what aggregation it would be useful for data processing to obtain aggregated information such as revenue per customer area as it is not part of any pre computed data queue it will uh, help to compute it the, um, the the method is called aggregation so the last uh, second last one is generalization of data generalization means what where low level or basic data basic data means raw data are placed by higher level concepts through the use of object hierarchies for example categorical attributes such as street can be generalized to a higher level category such as city or germany uh, sorry city or country you can say uh, similarity numbers attributes uh, numeric attribute value such as age can be related to higher level terms and a young middle aged and senior okay so the last is attribute construction or you can say feature construction when new attributes are constructed and added from the given of uh, attributes to help the meaning uh, sorry to help to help the mining process now this is all about um, this with uh, this lecture and uh, this is the question for the practice what is meant by data transformation what are the various ways of data transformation thank you this session powered by digital version 2.0 jyoti vidyapeet women's university hope you are satisfied with my digital session if you have any query please mention 
in my comment box i will resolve it thank you